Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It is Tuesday, October 8, 2019. I'm Dave Guerra. This is Let's Have a Chat. How are you? How's your day? How's the second workday of the work week going for you? Did you get it taken care of? Get everything taken care of? Um, Tuesday, uh, you know, it's like Monday's ugly, ugly step. No, uh, ugly... Ugly, uh, what does Cinderella have? Her ugly stepsisters. There we go. So there we go. That's that's what Monday. That's what Tuesday is. Because again, we have to pick up the pieces from Monday, and Monday is just a big old mess. And well, that's why things get ugly. So besides the point, how are you? Welcome, welcome again, welcome. So, <clears throat> well, you know what Tuesday is, and that's right. Tuesday is leadership in the news, or in this case, lack of leadership in the news. And what I'm talking about today, apparently um, in, in the news, a U.S. diplomat's wife kills a teen in the United Kingdom, then leaves the country. So here's the situation. A uh, lady, an American, she's the spouse of a U.S. diplomat in, in England, and she was driving on the wrong side of the road in England. It's the right side of the road here, but it's the wrong side of the road there. So she runs head on to a teen um, male he's riding his motorcycle on his right side of the road and well she kills him she he's dead that's it he's he she kills him and you know they the, the police had no intentions of arresting her uh it was um you know it was an accident things happen you know again but you know ultimately somebody has to pay the price somebody has to ha somebody has to do something but the interesting part nobody's saying anything is the police did decide to arrest her so there's more to this story than, than is being said at this point. So what, what does she do? Well, she hops on a plane, takes off, leaves the country, leaves England, leaving the family devastated, no justice for the family, and the lady declares diplomatic immunity, and that's why she could leave with no problem. She's not going to be arrested, and she's not going to this, she's not going to that. And uh, they've called on, on the um, Prime Minister Boris Johnson over there in England, and called on him to go ahead and reach out to the president and say, hey, you know, we need this person back. And the whole thing about diplomatic immunity and it, it freaking just, uh, everybody here on this side is saying, no, it's not gonna happen because that would set, set a bad precedent across the diplomatic core. And again, you know, it's stick around, face the charges, deal with it. And Obviously, you have diplomatic immunity. I get it, but be there to support and lend support to the family if it was truly, if it was truly an accident. I mean, that's what any decent person, human being would do: is stick around, even though it was an accident. And it's like, you know, I, I'm sorry it happened. It 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 goes that route, and that that's the route people take. And I get that, but to up, turn tail, leave, cut bait, leave this family devastated, no answers. There's not going to be any answers because again this person cowered it out and left the country without answering questions. So with that being said, where is the leadership in that somebody needs to step up and say, you know what, she's going to go back. She's going to go answer your questions. She's going to tell what happened, but she's not going to be charged. That's the diplomatic immunity part. I get that part. But again, somebody needs to put their foot down and say, she's going to go back and answer questions. Turning tail and run sets up. I mean, it's bad enough that as a nation, our reputation's already kind of dinged up a little bit. Okay, it's dinged up a lot. Beat up, kicked in the street, thrown in the street. But yet there's still countries, there's still people out there that still believe in us. And let's look at the situation in Hong Kong, all those pro protesters. They believe in, in the capitalist, the freedom. They believe in, in us. And they use us as, as an example as to why they want to separate from Chinese rule. And I get that and I see that. But I also, you know, at, at times, and I'm going to throw this out there, at times they've also equated it to the revolution, the, the peaceful revolution, uh, the Berlin Wall falling, the Berlin of, of, of Asia is, is Hong Kong right now. Uh, folks, the only thing I, I know, because I was, I was in Berlin and I've seen stuff like this happen. I do know one thing. And even after the fact, I do know this. I never saw a protester whether it was face-to-face -face in person or in the news or in, in the, that last summer uh, in 89, I never saw a protester with a mask. And I never saw any of them destroy public property, private property, like these 
nitwits are doing. And these are just people that are taking advantage of the situation, and yet they want to hide behind a mask. I understand where the calling is. I mean, if you're going to stand up and you believe in something, then you stand up 100% and you believe in it, and you take the damn mask off and be proud of what, who you are, what you stand for. And then maybe there won't be so much trouble. But again, it's when people decide, you know what, they're going to take the shortcut, the easy way. They're going to protest. They're going to flee. They're going to do the damage and they're going to leave. Then that, that's where the reputation, that's where the everything behind it starts to fail. That's where everything starts to fail. That's when authenticity just falls to the wayside. That's why being genuine just doesn't work, especially if you wear the mask, especially if you hide behind the diplomatic immunity to evade even just the... Do you elude just the questioning? That's nonsense. So where's the leadership in all of that? Individual leadership, there isn't any. And organizational type of leadership, there needs to be that. There needs to be that 100% of the time, all the time. It needs to say, you know what? You're going to go back. You're going to go face the music. You're not going to be arrested. You're not going to serve time in jail, but you're going to go and deal with this mess. You cause it. You stay there until you finish it and clean it up. And it's just that simple. But again, that's that personal initiative. That's that personal um, um, morals, scruples, authenticity. And when you're lacking that, it comes shining through. It truly does come shining through. So what do you do? That's right. You turn to somebody who's going to make you. You have somebody who's going to make you. You have somebody who believes in you who's going to lead you. And then... You've got it. But in the meantime, you know, this individual, she left. So what is she going to do? What is going to happen? We'll find out. I don't think this is over, not by a long shot. And somebody will step up and say something. But in the meantime, we've got to wait it out and where we don't have to be waiting it out. We should not be waiting it out. Folks, that's my two cents on leadership in the news, or in this case, lack of leadership in the news. Um, again, that's diplomatic immunity. It also reminds me of that scene at, at uh, what was that? Was it Lethal Weapon 1 or Lethal Weapon 2? Where the guy was from South Africa. They were in the shenanigans. I think they were important diamonds or something. And he ends up killing somebody, this guy. And he flashes his badge and he says, diplomatic immunity. And then Mel Gibson just shoots him right boom. And that's that's the end of that. Well, that's kind of what it's, that, that, uh, that audacity, the obnoxiousness, that whole character played it just right. But it's that whole audacity thing and well. Mel Gibson, Mel Gibson, it's a movie, folks, it's a movie, and but again, he took care of business, and so it ended up all right. Listen, everybody, I do invite you to follow me on Instagram, Dave underscore Guerra on Instagram, or on Twitter, and let me know you're following me because you saw the video, at Dave Guerra, that's what it says down here, right down here somewhere, there we go, so be sure to follow me. And until tomorrow, which will be early again, it'll be Walking Leader Wednesday, I do invite you to tune in then. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. It's uh, Tuesday, October 8, 2019. And this has been Leadership in the News. Have a great evening. Have a great day. I'll talk to you then. I'll talk to you then. Oh, there we go.